Welcome to the podcast. My guest today is Amy Hughes, and she is the secretary at, for the Crawford County Fair Board. Glad to have you back. Good morning. Yes, glad to be here. Well, now, we've got some exciting things to talk about. We're going to start wetting people's appetite for the 2024 Crawford County Fair. And the Crawford County Fair this year is, give me those dates. July 15th through the 20th. Okay, July 15th through the 20th is the Crawford County Fair. And today, I guess we're going to spend pretty much all of our podcast talking about uh, stuff going on at that fair, correct? Yes, the entertainment this year. Oh, the K, okay. the entertainment for this 2024 Crawford County Fair. Yes. Take it away, Amy. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Grandstand Entertainment. Um, Monday is the Calf, Sheep, and Chicken Scramble, and that starts at 7 p.m., and that's free. Um, Tuesday is the Rodeo, Bulls and Barrels, 7 p.m., it's $10 in the Grandstand. Wednesday and Thursday, Harness Racing, starts at 5.30, and that's free to get in. Thursday is Harness Racing also. Friday, Tractor Pull at 7 p.m., uh, $10 to get in the Grandstand, $15 for the Pits, that starts at 7.00. Uh, now the tractor pool, we have six classes. We're bringing back the semi, so that's included in the six classes. And then Saturday, demo derby starts at 7 p.m., $10 grandstand, 15 for the pits. And then our ground entertainment, we are having an extreme illusionist. And Monday through Thursday, he's doing two shows, 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, he's doing three shows, 3, 6, and 9. Uh, Captain Rick Magician, he'll be here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday, his shows are 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5 p.m. And then we have Tony's Creative Carving. He's doing wood carving, and he's here Wednesday through Saturday, and he'll be doing three to five shows. Time to be determined yet. We're not sure. And then the Gazebo Entertainment, we have bands in the evening. Wednesday, we have a band, Donley, and they'll be there from 7 to 10. Thursday is Mick McCarthy Music, and he'll be there 7 to 10. Friday is One Foot in the Grave, 7 to 10 p.m. And Saturday, Kick and Grass, 7 to 10 p.m. also. And then we have the Pig Scramble, and that is Saturday evening, 7 p.m. in the arena. Um, watch our Facebook page for announcements on that for registration and stuff, so that'll, that'll be posted. And then on Thursday, the 18th at 10 a.m., we always have a, a fair egg toss, and that's in the um, in the infield of the track. And that has cash prizes, and that's all donated by the Fromball Farms. And then on Wednesday, we have a free throw contest, and that is at 2 p.m. outside of where the old senior fair board office is. The hoops will be set up there. So we have a lot of entertainment going on. And I wanted to go over our gate. To get into the fair, it is $10, and that's for 36 inches and under. Uh, they get in free. Above 36 inches, they pay $10. Now that rides the mechanical rides. So listen closely. Mechanical rides is included in the $10 to get into the fair. Now there are extra like games that they do charge. Um, there is a couple extra like a Oh, they had a bouncing thing that they charged last year. And then this year, we will be having pony rides. So that will be new, but that there will be a charge. So the mechanical rides is included in the $10 to get into the fair. But there are other, are other activities that will have a charge to it. So um, the $10, that will include any 4-H, open class, and livestock shows. Uh, the grandstands on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the calf scramble and the harness racing. Those are free to get into, so the $10 includes that. Uh, the ground entertainment, that's all free. When you pay to get into the fair, you can see those. The gazebo, the pig scramble, the egg toss, and the free throw contest is all included in the $10 to get in the fair. So there's a lot of options to do when you come to the fair. I'll tell you, you went through so many things, and <laughs> you gave me so many things that I could crack on that I just... Shut up, because uh, <laughs> things were going th through my mind, with, as you were saying. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, I, I do want to mention this, because you gave a lot of information this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, best to go to social media, where yep. this is all going to be posted. And like you said about the parameters as to what it gets charged for this. Mm -hmm. All those will be on there. You can re-listen to this podcast, or 
many times as you'd like and right. pick it up there, or yep. you can go on to uh, uh, probably social media would be best, but you mm -hmm. can also go on the uh, website, can't you? Yep, or just give a call into the office, too. I mean, okay. they can answer any questions. So. All right, yeah. and, and uh, yeah. again, I think uh, you've got a lot of things coming up for the uh, the fair. Man, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a lot of activities yeah. up there. Mm -hmm. And I noticed a lot of very traditional things. You know, harness racing, I remember that used to be mm -hmm. when I was a kid, and that was a long, long time ago. <laughs> oh. And I mean, really a long time ago. Well over 50. I remember yeah. harness racing was big. And then for a while, it didn't seem like mm -hmm. it was big. It did. Then I noticed uh, now it's it's really coming back, hasn't it? Harness yeah, racing. it seems to be getting popular. Again. Yeah, so, I mean, yes, come and you know, when you race horses and do things like that, not, that's a pretty expensive proposition. So I would imagine yes. that's that's uh, that's not an inexpensive sport. Let's put right. it that way. Yep. So I can understand <laughs> that. And of course, you always have the demo derby, which that's always been a mm -hmm. traditional thing, you know, for the fair. And yep. the gentleman that does this wood. This carving, mm -hmm. uh, I've heard a lot of things good about that. I've heard, heard mm -hmm. he's very uh, talented, from what I understood. Yes, okay. yes, he does a very good job. Yeah, yep. I think I think he hit, gets a lot of people's attention, mm -hmm. especially people that you know they're into the woodworking too, and they see this guy and they think, wow, this guy can. Right. You learn pretty yep. quick how somebody mm -hmm. is pretty uh, with a lot of uh, skills. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add about the twenty twenty four Crawford County Fair? I don't think that's just our starting to start posting things and getting yep. announcements out there. So, yep, well, on the way. Well, we're we are wetting the appetite again for that's the right. uh, Crawford County Fair taking place on July 15th through the 20th, 2024, at the uh, Crawford County Fairgrounds. My guest, Amy Hughes, has been here mm -hmm. enlightening us as to all of the activities and things going on there. And again, go on social media to check it out, go to their website. Or you can even call out the fairgrounds if you have specific questions. And uh, see you at the fair. Thank you.